So for this video, I'm gonna make an axe cover for this, just like this one. This axe is one that you've seen in several videos. Um, I actually have a video of when I uh, made one just like this for my dad. Uh, really, really love this one. Um, I should have made a video making this case, but didn't. <laughs> I don't like this cover, so we're gonna make a new cover for it, just like this tonight. So we'll start with just a plain piece of veg tan leather, and we'll set the axe on it like that. I'll just outline where I want it to go, but I'll, I'll, I'll give it plenty of room. There's a little bit of overlap. About like that. So then when it's all together, we'll just fold over and make one sheath. Got that cut out. We'll take this, just go along our edges, clean them up a little bit. And then, to make it look a little prettier, we'll take this guy and you can set the depth. I want it fairly shallow, so that's actually right where I'll want it. And cut all along that edge. Now we'll take the soda tab and outline it because I found that this is a pretty good shape for a lashing point. <laughs> These have some pretty rough corners so I'm just running the edges of them along this sandpaper block here to just round them out a little bit better before I uh, seal the edges back over with that thing. Well, I guess I got it level before. So, so I usually start on the side that we're going to see. Just do kind of a rough coat over here. But like I said, this isn't really a side that needs to look amazing. set these rivets here on the ground um, because when you set them you can't set them on, uh, on anything that has really any kind of give or uh, they just won't set right and I don't have an anvil yet so through there then through the hole in the case like that tool spreads it out. So you set it right in the middle. You have your hammer. And I'll give it one or two good wax. Flatten. It's got that rivet set. It's not going anywhere. We'll do the same thing on this side. And that's pretty much got it made. Now all I'm going to do to finish it off, get a little bit of water on my sponge again, dampen these edges, I guess for just this edge. Finish it off like that. Much more 
our finished look. And then from there, measured out about three feet of paracord. And the reason I like doing it this way is, yeah, it takes a little bit more time to undo than if I just had like a snap on here. But with this, uh, it holds it very securely, and uh, if I needed, if I had to make tie something down or make a bow drill or whatever it may, might come up, I've got a good length of paracord along with me. So you can either wrap it up this way and tie it out like that, or depending on how. Uh, much of an angle there is on the bottom of your axe here. You can just wrap it like this. Pull that tight. And not, it doesn't really matter, just uh, whatever you prefer. I'll tell you a quick square knot on that. And uh, lickety split, you got an axe head cover. I hope that this has been beneficial. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and uh, yeah, go do some leather work. <laughs>